Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is an update on how I add ground cinnamon to my succulents. Last video that I made was over a year ago, so I decided to make a new video on cinnamon and succulents. Um, I have, I'm proud to say that I have stayed mealy free. I've never had any mealies on any of my succulents. I actually use this cinnamon as a preventative because ants hate it, and if ants hate it, then you will have no mealy bugs. Because ants bring mealy bugs around that's what they do they farm the mealy bugs it's gross so um, just get a spoon it doesn't have to be a measuring spoon at all there's no measurement of the amount of cinnamon that I put in my plant um, just a heap amount a lot of amounts be very generous um, and this is just regular cheap 98 cent a pack cinnamon nothing expensive I do have some really expensive uh, true cinnamon that I use for myself to consume but for my plants we'll just use the regular old cinnamon so again just use a, a little spoonful and add it around the dirt of your succulents I actually this is about the third or fourth cinnamon um I don't even know cinnamon <laughs> Thing that I go through whenever I don't see any more cinnamon in my soil I actually just add more cinnamon on top um, so I'm constantly maybe about every three months I add cinnamon and I actually use that whole little bottle oh my god why couldn't I remember the word for bottle I actually add the whole bottle of cinnamon to all of my succulents so between all 14 of my succulents I think I have I divide it and I add cinnamon to all of them so every every plant gets a generous generous amount of cinnamon you can definitely see the big old scoops on top of the soil if they get on your petals don't worry about it because they'll get flushed out with the water they'll get it down into the dirt anyways so again I do this probably about every three months add some more um, cinnamon to the top soil And I thought I would do a little kind of update before summer. Um, I have moved my plants uh, from where they were before to here because there's no sun over there now. So they are over here. They're happy in the sun. Um, this plant is getting beautiful. It is now flowering. Um, two of the four flowers that you see there are actually flowering. So that's very exciting. That one's going to have another little stalk coming out. And I can't wait. The The flowers on the sides are actually getting really nice and big. This one right here I might propagate in the fall to keep it as a different plant. Uh, I don't know what this one's called. It's really cute, but it needs more water. And my pretty Lily Siana is doing wonderfully. Or Lily Sina. I don't know what it's called. This one is my Echeveria Dark Moon. Um, it's actually brand new to my collection. I've had it for a couple weeks now, but I didn't show it in my last video. It's doing wonderfully. I'm not sure what this plant is called, but this one is doing beautifully. It is nice and purple and nice and plump. Uh, my cubic frost is doing wonderfully. Look at, look at it, look at it. And then my Echeveria color shift is growing so big, you guys. I'm gonna have to put it in a new plant, probably in fall, because it's huge. It is growing a nice little flower. I'm so happy that it's happy with me. These cute little purple flowers are doing good. They have a nice little baby there. And my Echeveria Blue Waves, you guys, I'm so happy it is growing these big old babies there off to the sides. They're huge uh, compared to what they were um, before, so I just, I'm excited to see them grow. They're so cute. And of course, my, Ed, my Fred Ives, oh my gosh, you guys, this Fred Ives is such a diva. It will kill a leaf off in one day if the dirt is dry, literally. In one day, it'll just kill off a leaf. It won't even let me water it it like just kills off a leaf this is my beautiful super morning beauty and it is growing nice and big and strong i felt like i needed some sun so i put it over here it needed some water because it was growing out some roots so i gave it some more water 
Um, but everything is doing wonderfully. Of course, my ruby necklace. I love my ruby necklace. I gave it a nice haircut. I couldn't see the pot before, if you guys remember from the my succulent video collection. I couldn't see the pot, so I gave it a nice cut. And I am actually water propagating the strands that I cut off. And um, that's for a video coming up because I'm still waiting for the roots to grow out. And uh, so I tested it out here. I actually rooted these strands in water and then I planted them. So they were kind of my experiment. Doing, they're doing good. And this ruby necklace is so happy and I can't wait for it to grow out again and just be such a pretty little plant. I've actually moved it out to the sun. So hopefully it gets nice and purple. And I actually always forget to mention this uh, <laughs> this uh, aloe that I have here. I always... Uh, forget it. It was actually growing over there, but it was getting too much sun. It was turning yellow, so I planted it over here. And it's actually two plants, and it's actually too big for that pot now, and it needs to be moved. But it just seems like a lot of work right now. But it is happy, nice and green, and um, just really, really happy plant. Um, right after I took it out of the ground and put it in the pot, like all its problems went away. It was brown and really thin, and so now it's, now it's nice and green and plump. And of course, I have my beautiful uh, Dudleia Brittoni. Um, actually, this Dudleia had a bit of a problem. It had some like gnats in the dirt. I guess the dirt was staying too wet. And so when I would hit it off to the side, little gnats would come out. So I made sure to drown it in 70% alcohol and then drowned the whole plant in water. So now it's I'm going to let it dry for about two weeks. So that is the update, you guys, on my plants. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps you out a little bit with your plants and stopping the spread of mealies and preventing mealies. Bye-bye.